Look at this great load of firewood and the IBC firewood tote that we made has a nice little rain cap on it. I'm going to show you exactly how we made this. It was our first time ever making one. I'm thrilled with it. So glad I was able to get these totes. So glad I was able to get some firewood in them. This will keep it protected. You can see right now it's freezing rain. So this will keep the, the snow and rain and wetness off of the wood, make it much faster to get it in the basement and get it burning in the wood stove. Make sure you go down and click that like button, subscribe and comment below. Stay tuned to see how we made this. If you can see, I've got the IBC tote out here ready. This will be the first time I've ever made one into a firewood tote. So uh, the tools I have to use it's going to take a T40 in this case to get these bolts out to remove the top and then I'll tip it to the side, pull the bladder out and I've got a reciprocating saw to help cut through these metal pieces. I do not have an angle grinder which I see most people use but I think this reciprocating saw will work just fine. So like I said first time, let's see how it goes. I think it's better to pull them under the rail so they don't bind up. We'll save these because we're going to put them back on. Now I'd like to leave these side supports on, so I'm going to cut inside this rail. I know that's not a super wide opening, but we'll give it a try on the first one, see if we like it. We can always change things up afterwards. And I think that's as low as I'll go for now too. Now that the basket's ready, I'd like to use this to make a lid. I use the fine tooth blade to cut the metal out of the IBC tote. I'll be using the coarse tooth blade to see if I can cut through this. I'm going to try to use this watermark as an indicator line and cut that off as a lid. Keep the wood dry. I found that it cuts better cutting along the top than trying to cut the side. So I just cut the top and then rotate. I think 
think what that does is keeps it from binding up a little bit. If you don't have one of these reciprocating saws, I use this thing all the time. I'll put a link down below in the Amazon Affiliates links. And like I said, I want to use this part as a lid over my firewood. So I'm going to make a mark here where I want to notch it. And I'm going to notch out for it to slide down over those supports that I added back in. If you're using the IBC totes that were used for a die like I am, you get your hands pretty dirty. Hopefully that washes off. keep the lid strapped on my idea is just one bungee strap through here to there and to the other side that way the wind won't blow it off but that'll still give my wood nice protection from the rain and snow now I've got some wood down there that's exposed right now let's take this down load that wood in here First we can see if the tractor can lift it, and then we'll find out where we want to put it. My first question to you guys is, what do I do with the rest of this bladder now? It seems like it's sturdy enough it could be a container for something, I'm just not sure what. So if you guys have ideas, Please put them down in the comments below. I'd like to know what you think this could be repurposed as or the best way to get rid of it safely. So I'd like to get this nice split wood that keeps getting in the elements. You can see it's got snow all over it. I'd like to get it stacked in here. We'll find out how much wood I can put in here and still lift this tote. And it will also get this up off the ground and protect it with our nice rain cap we have on the tote. When they're out in the snow and ice and freezing rain, they get frozen together. Since I know I can't lift a full tote of these, I'm not going to be real particular about stacking them. It's no wonder so many people use these for firewood. This is a great system. I like the little rain cap I have on it. I think it's gonna be great, but before we get it much fuller, I better just do a test with the tractor to make sure it can still lift it. So far, so good. Let's keep stacking. So I have quite a bit in there. Honestly, more than I thought I'd be able to fit with our little tractor to be able to lift the tote. Remember, these are a 330 gallon tote, so they have quite a bit of space in them. And I've got quite a bit of hardwoods wood in there, so it's pretty heavy. It is seasoned, so it's not as heavy as if it were green, but it's still a pretty heavy load. So I think that's as full as I'll make that one. The rain cap will keep it dry much better than in this stack on the ground. So I'm going to find a good place to put this where it gets the Jennifer stamp of approval. 
and then I'll work on making another tote to put either the rest of this firewood or some kindling in. If you store firewood in your IBC totes, I'd like to know tips and tricks that you use to make storing it more efficient. Uh, remembering that we have just a small subcompact tractor at this time, so I can't fill them clear to the top, but I did learn several things from videos that I've watched already. I love this rain cap, like that it's bungeed on to hold it in place during the wind. It'll keep this wood nice and dry, and it's so great to be able to move this stuff around with our Artillian pallet forks. We'd love to see how many likes we can get on this video, if you would do us a huge favor, and as you're watching it, just go down below and click that like button. We'd love to see how high we can get that thumbs up like button on our video. And as you know, that really helps out the video, helps YouTube promote it to other viewers, and hopefully helps the channel grow. So thank you so much. I think we've got plenty of capacity. I'm going to put some more in. So that last one I did was my first one. I believe every time you do something, you should try to do it a little bit smarter. This time I'm wearing some gloves. That black dye is hard to get off your hands. This time it's a T30. The support bar setup on this style is a little bit different. It'll actually be better because I'll be able to move it outside here and make a wider opening for myself. See this thing turned out just as good. Nice rain cap on it.